Welcome to my uh, project brief, uh, uh, group project brief. Uh, I would like to begin this uh, by discussing the hardware components of the uh, project. This is our main project. It consists of an LDR potential divider circuit that inputs into channel 0 of the ADC and drives uh, the lights of a greenhouse. Then there is an LM35 sensor that feeds into channel 1 of an ADC that drives the three seven-segment displays that uh, give you an average reading taken uh, each 10 seconds over a cycle of four, so that's four readings over a 40-second period are taken, the average of which is uh, given of these three seven-segment displays, a virtual terminal that is used for user authentication, and a potential divider circuit that is used to give us a lower positive reference that is used to give us a lower positive reference uh, that gives us higher resolution on the ADC as it uh, converts the, the analog input from the LM35 sensor uh, uh, temperature sensor into a ADC that drives these three seven segment displays. So I'll just begin by uh, playing um, the user authentication aspect uh, on first switch on, the user will be prompted to set up a pin. The pin will be stored in the EEPROM, which is the non-volatile storage area of the microcontroller. Uh, subsequent uses will then just prompt the pin. Uh, and um, if it's correct, it should give you uh, access into the system. And if it's incorrect, it should um, stop you for a minute. Uh, and then give you access uh, at, uh, after a minute to uh, try, give you a second attempt, if you like. Um, so we'll just start the simulation. So on first attempt, it's uh, now prompting us to set up a pin, uh, and I shall set a pin 502. As you can see, when you set the pin up, uh, asterisk is echoed to hide the pin from prying eyes. Um, so now the pin has been set up, and I have access to the system. As you see, the lights have turned on because the um, LDR has minimal light shining on it. Um, while this is happening, the um, temperature sensor is taking on readings and we uh, expect after 40 seconds to get our first reading on there. So just keeping an eye out while we still maintain functionality of the lights. So all the time we maintain functionality of the lights and after 40 seconds there we have it 40 seconds that's our first reading now just to uh, discuss on the user authentication aspect so if we stop it we've set the pin up if we run it again we should just be prompted at this point to enter the pin so if you enter the correct pin which is 502 again you get that um, masking and now we have access to the system as you can see let me just uh, lower the light there and then we have access to the system we'll wait 40 seconds for that to kick in uh, now just to demonstrate what would happen if you enter the incorrect pin so let me just give it a last play there so for an incorrect pin, that would kick in. Uh, I've lowered the time threshold for the purpose of this demonstration. Uh, and now it's asked for the second pin attempt. 
If I put the current one five to the two, we should see the lights come on straight away, show them you have access to the system. Uh, thank you for watching.